طيب نجيب فاير سيلز <laughs> I never called him on stream. I don't. Yeah, I've never called him on stream. Call him right now. Hello? Yo, Speedy. Yo, what's up? Yo, um, this is my first time calling you on stream. This is chicken, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was the other David. What? Ski mask. Oh, fuck you no. Have, you have a similar voice. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> What's up, chicken, Andy? Dude, sweetie, how are you? I'm doing better, man, you know? Life, life is just ups and downs, and we're just trying to deal with it. I'm fucking tired of working. I kind of am thinking about getting back into streaming a little bit. Shut the fuck up. Dip my toes in, in the water, you know, so to speak. That's bullshit. You're fucking <laughs> lying. <laughs> Why do you say that? You're saying that for the stream. No, dude. Between you and me. Mute it. I, I'm not muted, dude. I'm not muted. Mute it. You always mute it. What are you talking about? I don't, I'm not. <laughs> dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> No, no way. Man. So like, I just got this new job, right? All right. I was told, I was told by my sponsor to get a new job because the environment I, I was in wasn't very good. So I got this new job and like, I haven't really done shit with my life. Like I've either been fucked up in like panhandling or streaming and internet panhandling. And so I don't have any skills. Believe it or not, chicken, I don't have any life skills. So, the only yeah. skill I really have, if you even want to call it a skill, is IRL. So, I mean, dude, like, it's always, even when I stop streaming for five months, like, it's always like, I'm fucking deep for it. I'm addicted to streaming, dude. And you know what that's like, I'm sure. Yeah. No, I... you, you also work a job and you keep a healthy balance, um, which I think is important. Yeah, the balance is very key, you should know. Hey, with streaming is like if you're gonna get big and get a lot of viewers, you gotta be consistent. Like you gotta do it every fucking day, pretty much. Yeah. Which is easier now that I'm sober, so I don't have to fucking drink a bottle every time I go live, which is like pretty fucking big, man. Uh, that shit was like really paying a toll on my body. Yeah, no, I. We remember speed, dude. You remember? I don't remember any of it. Oh. Well, no. speed, we're. We're all fucking happy for you, and we all very much I miss you. That. We very yeah. much miss you. I'm scared though, too, man. Yeah, it's, it's 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 you don't trust yourself. That's the problem. Well, see, I have like I'm a pretty rational dude off stream. Like I make pretty good decisions in my life now, but I can totally see when a stream is on for content, doing things. That kind of go against my moral standings now, so to speak. Yeah, um, I feel that. So, like, I don't really want to harass people, but if the stream's boring and it's not going good, I know what I, I can do to make it go good, which is, like, harass people. So, you, you it's just want, try, I see I'm that. trying to be more creative. Trying yeah. to be more creative, think outside the box so I don't have to do that. Because there have been good IRL streamers that don't harass people, like... Ice in the golden era. I don't think he really harassed people that much. He would do light trolling, but it wasn't like full on harassment. You sound it's hard to do. You, you do sound pretty reformed, I, and but I do understand exactly what you're saying. Like yeah. if I I literally say in the beginning of my stream, this is what we're doing, and it'd be like, okay, today I'm waking up, right? But like if I tomorrow. When I turn on my stream and I say, today we're going to troll people. We're going to go to stores and we're going to just go store to store to store or door yeah. to door to door. So I see what you're saying is that like you rather kind of have a plan how you're going to harass people instead of just doing it to be funny when, well, it, when it's dead. My thing is instead of making the person 
the butt of the joke that I'm talking to IRL. Yeah. Make them laugh. Like, if I'm making that person smile and laugh, I'm not harassing them. I just brighten their day. You know what I mean? Okay. But the, the problem was, when I was doing IRL, I was, I was making that person the butt of the joke. I was fucking their day. I'm not making it better. Mm. So, it's just having a complete flip and which is like necessary if you're gonna be a content creator you have to change and grow you know what i mean but also the the community we're in it's like it's I mean, they, yeah but the community we in it, we can't blame them because we are also them you know exactly no i'm in the chat fucking controlling all the time exactly like like even though we could be like like we're put down by everyone else because our community as ourselves are just so toxic. But like, I understand that we need to change and grow as well. You definitely can. You just gotta be that influencer. Exactly, man. And I know they don't, there's a small percentage of IP2 that only wants nigger fucking uh, really degenerate content. But there, there's the majority of IP2 I wanna say just wants content. They don't care what form it's in. They don't care if it's... It could be wholesome. Like, they love Mexican Andy finding a kitty cat on the boulevard, and he was crying, and he saved the kitty cat. It was wholesome as fuck, and they loved it. So, like, that was content. It wasn't degenerate. Like, just doing... They, I think they'll take content in any form it is in. There is a small percentage that wants the really fucked up harassing shit, but I think the majority just want content, and they don't care what it looks like as long as it's content. So, right, right, that's right. the dream. Now, yeah. the, now, the tricky part is pulling that on. How the fuck do you do that? Wait, you know we are on stream, right? Yeah, yeah I know that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sweet, I fucking love you. Um, I love you too, brother. And I want you. I want the best for you. So, And if you're saying I that, that you want to kind of like dabble your feedback in a little bit, but yeah. maybe not be forced into it, I'm, I'm doing this thing, right? And... So my RV, as you know, it's very scuffed and dog shit, but I'm doing upgrades to it right now. You still have it? Yeah, I still have it. Okay. I'm gonna start hosting weekend streams, like like weekend RVs. It's it's yeah. I get someone said in my chat weekend RVs because that's why I told them what I'm pretty much doing is that like you could meet up with me at like some airport. We meet up at a night. <laughs> airport of a city nearby and we just stream that fucking weekend from friday saturday sunday and then yeah. i just we just drop drop you off maybe monday or sunday whatever the fuck it is and it would just be it would just be weekend rvs so you go back to your life that could be for yeah. four days or maybe you don't go to the next weekend and you know it'd be it'd be good for like the streamers that's definitely man and that sounds like a good idea and the thing is like I like to watch friends have a good time together. You know what I mean? All right. And I think that's what a lot of streams I've been missing is that like a lot of the people that hang out aren't genuinely friends. They're just hanging out with each other because it's another IP2 streamer. Yeah. So I think when there's good chemistry there and it's actually an authentic good time, people are going to like that, man. You know of course. what I mean? Yeah. But it's easier said than done. But the only way you can ever find out how it can be done is by doing it and trying it. And of course, every once in a while, we're gonna, we're gonna like strike out, we're gonna have a bad stream, it's not gonna go the way we planned. But, I mean, I, I believe in like, if you have a purpose in life, if you have a dream and a calling, like it's, there's gonna be sacrifices to make, but like, it can be done, man. It just takes like getting, like just doing it, you know what I mean? I've just been kind of sitting around working, which there's nothing wrong with that. I've been building my character, I've been bettering myself, but you know, eventually like, this, this screaming shit's been calling me for a long time, man. I can't just like, pass it up. I can't just not do it. But a lot of people are worried about me. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's, there's a lot. Like my sponsor doesn't want me to do it. Family doesn't want me to do it. Like most people that are around me in my life right now don't want me to do it. There's something in my heart that's like, calling out to fucking do it. And I know I can also, Tying in the sobriety part, I mean, people that saw me all fucked up, they see me now sober, they can be like, God damn, if Speedy got sober, anybody can. You know what I mean? But that's like some wholesome shit that I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with. They're going to be like, oh, that's normie shit. But I mean, it's just real life shit, bro. Like, 
know. Well, I'm cool though. <laughs> I'm cool. Though. No. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Uh, have you reached out to Lowe's at all? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, He's I, on the sobriety thing as well. All right, you're next in line. Chicken. What? We're gonna get you a sponsor. What? Clean you up. Get your hair cut. All right. What? Stop messing with these fucking whores. What? I'm doing a year of celibacy. No girlfriend, no anything for a year. No, you're not. That's what my no, fucking. Yeah, I know. That's what my last ex said, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who says that's full of shit. Going in cell. Um. All right, yo. So, Speedy. Yes. So maybe, like, like you said, we kind of have to try new things, right? Mm-hmm. I will I'll tell you. I'll I'll tell you like a time that I'll take my RV to like some city and I'll tell you what that city is and I'll give you like a schedule and you just tell me if you want to go or not and I'll okay. and I'll tell you three to four weeks advance okay and, but only only the streamers would know only the streamers do you got anyone else playing for a cast yeah I do so that's what I'm working on right now like I'm talking to you I already I talked to JJ before you so JJ said okay. yes and yep. then if you would say yes You'd kind of be like a tree, right? So if you said yes, then the branch it branches to like two other people. Yeah, yeah, just building, okay. building it out of what type of seed. Yeah, and IP two is the influence. <laughs> okay. My seed. Where's Discord stand in all this? Discord. <laughs> no Discord streamers. No Discord streamers. No Discord. So ninety nine percent of the network can't go on. No, none of them. <laughs> You gotta be a stream sniper. Cast, bro. Only I stream snipers. People in your life. I know people. you have friends you hang out with. Let's get them. I'll that's a good idea. No, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's a good idea. I don't have any friends, so. Oh. <laughs> your sponsor? It's about your sponsor. Yes. That's not a friend. He just says shit that pisses me off a lot. Yeah, like what? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, everybody's really against this man. I'm going to give it a try. I feel like I love myself today, so I can take the hate that I couldn't take in the past. I can take it now. It doesn't really affect me like it used to. That's good. That's the... I used to be terrified to fucking stream sober. You used to scare the fuck out of me because somebody would fucking see me for who I really am. And yeah. I did. That, was, that was fucking frightening to me. I, I'll, but, uh, I'll kind of admit, like, kind of getting, getting over the hate... Like that in between of uh, pandering to the hate and getting over the f- hate, in, that in between is like the scariest moment in your in like your For career, sure. you know, streaming. Insecurities really yeah. come out. Your it does. And insecurities and mm-hmm. you're like, what if they're right? You know. Once what you get over that know? like bump, it's like it's crazy. Yeah. It's when you, you see everything yourself different. yourself and knowing that you're the shit. Like, whatever anyone says can't fade you, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. But, my brother, man, it was really good to hear from you, man. You sound good. What? I didn't know Kier Kitty was your sister. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was a cool thing to learn yesterday. You sure. never knew? Yeah, we're adopted. No, I've seen a picture of her before, but, yeah. She was looking extra Asian yesterday. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I I'm, I sound great. Thank you so much for telling me that. That's a nice compliment, asshole. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow. We'll talk some more, man. Yeah, we'll talk off stream. I I don't stream during the week. See, like it's weekend. I'm only talking during the weekend. Right? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm off. Okay. Wait, it's wait. Tomorrow's Sunday, right? Uh, tomorrow's Monday. Exactly, yes, that's right. So I'm <laughs> off tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay, dude. Well, um, yeah, it's good to hear from you, man, and I hope you have a good night. We'll talk some more, all right? All right, later, Bolt. All right, later, homie. <sighs> dude. I'm high. Please, everybody, pray. 
afraid to the alcohol, God, just to 